Michael Cohen was saying at any point in time starting in April of 2018. So that's why I wanted to get those materials that I gave to the U.S. Attorney's Office and sat for a two-hour interview with them back in 2019, after which, you may have noticed, the Southern District of New York didn't do any business with Michael Cohen. There's a reason for that. He's totally unreliable. Today, after giving all those materials to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, out of 321 emails, they cherry-picked six emails to ask me about. And, of course, they took them out of context. When they took them out of context, I told the grand jurors, I don't know whether this will... This is to fruition the Trump ally, Robert Costello, who is just finished testifying before the New York grand jury that is investigating Trump for um, illegalities relating to the Stormy Daniels case, the payoff case. And uh, he's basically uh, talking after he comes out of the uh, grand jury about Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen is uh, Trump's former fixer. Now, this guy was all Michael Cohen's former legal counsel. And he's making a lot of uh, less legal arguments than, um, I've already watched it once, than uh, personal attacks on Mr. Cohen. Um, that he was upset and wanted to commit suicide. Uh, he was suicidal, quote, unquote. And um, he is currently the attorney for Rudy Giuliani. And he also has represented Steve Bannon. Um, you know, the dirty, disgusting, stinky guy. And um, so he is kind of a, well, you make your own decisions about him. But he is saying that he came in on his own, uh, that he's not a member of the Trump team, but he's definitely, um, you know, on the Trump side of things here to uh, slam Michael Cohen. And now, apparently, because they ran out of time, because he spent so much time, and he said he brought a lot of evidence, they've now moved Michael Cohen, I believe, to Wednesday. Um, because I think he took up the whole time today. I'm Gloria Moraga. I'm a political woman. I vote. This is the latest on this case, and I'll have more after I uh, read some of his uh, documents, if I can get a hold of them. Robert Stello.